He was an old man who lived alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream, and he had gone 84 days now without taking a fish. Right, that's enough of that nonsense. So what I want to show you... To, oh, can you stop the music? Stop playing the keyboards. Real thanks. What I want to show you today is how you can actually write like Hemingway. And what I really like about Hemingway as a writer, and if you haven't read any Hemingway, go and check some out. Start with The Old Man and the Sea. But they're very succinct, succinct sentences. And actually, Hemingway was writing for the web before the web existed because he writes in very short, simple to understand sentences that are easy to scan. I found a really cool app, which is called the Hemingway app, which basically lets you write in the app and it'll judge your writing as if you were Hemingway. So what you end up with is some really great prose for websites. So, and there is also a way that you can then publish that to your WordPress website. So it's kind of, it's a really cool way of doing it. I know there's other tools that do this as well, like Grammarly. This is a much cheaper way of doing it. And I think it's got a really elegant ele um, editor. So I'm going to show you it today and I'll show you the workflow process from going from the Hemingway app to auto publishing to WordPress. And then once we're in WordPress, converting it into um, blocks. Here we go. Right, so I'm going to show you the desktop app here. And it's got a really nice clean interface. So it's just a joy to type with. That's one of the reasons I'm, I'm going to start using this as my, my editor, I think. Uh, and this is what you start with. Now I put some text in here, but you'd normally start with just this lovely blank canvas and you just type away as you would in any kind of normal word processor. Let me just put this text back in here. Uh, and there's two writing modes essentially. There's the um, edit mode here, which we, we're in to start with, or the write mode. If I click on the write mode, then basically it's not analyzing my text as I write. So you'd probably write your text like that to start with and then click on the edit mode. And then as soon as you do that, it's going to give you your feedback. And it's going to, over here on the left, it'll tell you, well, it'll highlight your text to start with here to give you some warnings. Now, red is kind of bad, or this dark color is bad. And then it tells you along here the kind of mistakes you're making in your writing. It's fairly shocking to start with. I tend to write a lot um, in the passive voice. So I, it's actually helping me to hopefully improve my writing and make it a bit more a bit, bit more snappy and a bit more to the point. But it gives you this great feedback and then you can just jump in here and change your text and the colors will change as you're changing it. So how you actually work with this is up to you. I mean, I'm kind of starting to work with it actually in full on edit mode so I can see what's going on as I go. You'll also see along here uh, that you can actually put in headings. So um, let's put a heading in here. And if I just click on heading one, can you see how that just changes to a heading one? So it's actually a really nice editing experience. Just, you know, if you just want distraction free writing, um, which I know a lot of you do out there, you don't want this the whole block thing going on, then actually just as a just as a word processor, it's a really, really nice experience. I think it's really clean and really elegant. Uh, so that's the first step. Write your stuff, write your prose, and you can obviously save these offline as um, documents and work on them. So they're just like a, you know, like Microsoft Word essentially, but with intelligence built into it. But the real joy of this is that it has this thing here. So you can publish this automatically to WordPress, which is super cool. So that's the bit I'm gonna show you next. Right, this is the bit that's exciting as well. This is when we're gonna publish it to your WordPress website. To make this challenging, I've actually made this a fairly complex bit of text. Uh, because I've added lots of elements into it because what I want to see what happens when we publish to WordPress and then we convert these into Gutenberg blocks which we'll do after we've imported them but first let me show you what I've got here so I have a heading a heading up here then I've got this um, unordered list I've got a quote here I've got another paragraph uh, and then I've got this numbered list down here I've also got some links in here as well okay so now is the time we're going to publish it to your to my WordPress website so you just click on file and then you'll see this publish option up here and we're going to publish on WordPress and then it's going to come to this screen and essentially this is asking you to put in your uh, website's address so I'm publishing so one of my websites called socialpress.co.uk that would be your website address and then you just fill in your WordPress login to that particular website you give your post a title so I'm going to call my this one Hemingway test and then you have two choices. You can either save, um, you can either publish this as a draft, or you can publish this and publish this. 
Uh, so you'd probably normally um, save this as a draft because you'd want to go and maybe add some categories and do some other things, maybe add a featured image. But I'm just going to publish this today. That's it. And then really all you have to do is click on save to WordPress and like magic it flies up through the internet and it should after a second say the story's now been published. You'll get a link here to view it on your WordPress website. Click on that. That will take you off to your WordPress website. And look at that, there it is. There's that post automatically published. And let's go and look at it. Make sure it's the right one. And there we go. And it's pretty much preserved all that formatting that I um, built in when I was um, creating my content in Hemingway. And it's brought it into uh, my WordPress website. Let me go and show you the final step here, potentially. So when you publish via Hemingway, what's what it's actually going to do, it's going to dump all that content into the classic edit block. So it's just basically at the moment, it's just one block full of stuff. But what you can do here, if you click on the classic edit block, can you see this option here, convert to blocks. So if you click on that, that'll take all that text and it'll convert each bit into Gutenberg blocks. And it does it pretty seamlessly. That's pretty much perfect. There's a little issue here that it thinks I've put two quotes in, I think, but that's probably the only issue I've got. Everything else, it's brought the links across, the numbered list across, and now they're just converted to blocks. So if you wanted to put some images in there, you would just add the image block. So there we go. That's the workflow from Hemingway into the Gutenberg block editor. I hope you found that useful. I think it's a really cool little app. As I said, it's only, it's only about $19. Uh, so take it for a spin. Have some fun. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. And if you want to see more, hopefully, useful videos around the Gutenberg block editor, uh, hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching and I shall see you soon. Huh? What? Oh, you, you want to play a bit more music? Okay. Yeah, not too much though. Just, just 15 seconds. Okay, off you go. Thank you.